It's time for Inspirational Insights. All right, hold a thought or question in your mind. Get an intention or something that you want to have perspective on. All right, you do that. Start thinking about that. I'm going to start shuffling cards and pulling cards. I'm Margaret Ann Limbo. I'm the author of these decks, the Crystal Intentions Oracle, the Archangels and Gemstone Guardians cards, and the Angels and Gemstone Guardians cards. So these three came out, so we'll see what that's about. Let's see. Those are the red cards, and red has to do with focus and safety and protection. And then now I'll pull from the Archangels deck. So you think, how in the world is this going to have any meaning if you know, I'm not asking you the question, you're not here, you know? I'm recording this in October of 2016, and you might be watching it in March of 2017 or whenever. It doesn't matter because there is no space, there is no time. It's all relevant. So what I ask you to do is open your heart and mind to being open to see how the oracle works. The oracle is much broader and much greater than we might think. All right, so because the first three cards that came out are all uh, relevant to being focused and feeling safe and protected, what I'd like to do is ask you to see what that means for you. Do I, am I focused? That's the question to ask yourself. Do I feel safe and protected? So the first thing to do is if you're answering no to any of those is first is to deflect any unwanted or unhealthy vibrations. And I'm looking at my, I am looking at the card. This happens to be the one that's called black tourmaline or I should say tourmalinated quartz. See, that's a clear quartz with black tourmaline inclusions going through it. And so you might want to take the time to find out, wow, you know, maybe the energy of so-and-so in my space on a continuous basis is too much. Doesn't mean you have to get rid of them in your life, but maybe you need to break the ties a little bit so that you can recapture your own energy, your own space. And the affirmation is, I automatically remove unhealthy cords of attachment. Then the next card is recommending, this is the jet card, to release anxiety and deflect negativity, and to do that by invoking divine protection. So jet is the, is the gemstone for that. And the final one from the Crystal Intentions Oracle is the Leopard Skin Jasper. And this is about being an observer. You know, if you think about how a cat stalks its prey and they really are very observant and they're very clear on, you know, movements and what's going on, this has to do with being able to improve your peripheral awareness and become the objective observer. If you don't know what that means, Google it <laughs> or send me an email or read my books. So Amethyst came out of the Archangel deck, Archangel Zadkiel. So Archangel Zadkiel is a, an archangel that's aligned with the violet flame of Saint Germain. So this is about transforming and transmuting challenging situations and to know that you're always aligned with higher wisdom and knowledge. There are affirmations on the back. And so through your spiritual connection, you do have the ability to transform any situation that might arise. I'll tell a really quick story about Amethyst. So I was on this journey in um, Europe with two people, one of which I considered a friend, the other one I really didn't know. And I was challenged by them. They were having um, what I, I, I would consider it mean girl energy, you know. And so I was overly sensitive because my mom had passed that year, so I was very vulnerable. And I couldn't shake the feeling of the energy that they were emitting and how they were talking to me and that. It just really upset me. I was, I was being a baby about it, and that's okay. I was sad. I was vulnerable. But so what I did end up doing is I imagined myself in a protective sphere of amethyst. I made believe that I was walking around with an amethyst orb 
around me at all times that was constantly transforming and transmuting the negative energy so uh, it wouldn't be affected. And you know what? Within about a day and a half, you know, we were doing everything together because we were on a trip. Within about a day and a half, it was it was done. It was corrected. It was re realigned. And you know how? They went to another city, and I ended up going someplace else. And so it realigned, but that I wasn't traveling with them anymore. So it worked out really good. So know that you can call on not only Amethyst or Archangel Zadkiel, but you can call on the color purple. So this also has to do with color in your life with the energy of the gemstones and the archangels. Now, from the angels and gemstone guardians cards, Apophyllite came out and the Amber card. So I can see right away, Amber relates because Amber is about being able to like filter, make a filter and, and keep things that aren't necessary, you know, you know, boundaries, setting a boundary. So that's like um, uh, being able to establish that it's okay for you to stay here, but coming right here, not so much. This is a little bit too close to my personal space, so back away a bit. You know, this is like being able to set a boundary with somebody who might want to stop by your house unannounced, that kind of setting boundaries. Amber. And then Apophyllite, so this is about, it's time to sit in meditation, to focus on um, your truth, your own inner truth, and to be able to accept yourself and others without judgment. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching today for this inspirational insight and I hope to see you sometime soon. Come visit me at the Crystal Garden in Boynton Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching.